in this lecture we are going to see how to create your first container now we have already downloaded the alpine image in the previous video we have seen how to download or pull the any image in our case we pull the alpine image now we want to create the container so for creating the container the command is docker container run minus i minus t then we will specify the name of the container in our case it is we are going to just give the name c1 from which image you want to create the container in our case the image is going to be alpine and which program to run in this case we are just going to run one shell that is ash so this is the cla container is the context this is the command i mean interactive mode that mean it will take it will create the container and will take us to that container and it will my with minus t option it will allocate one sido tty also and this is again the name of the name so we will see practically so we are again using our that docker official image so i will go to the show first of all let us check doctor docker image list whether that image is available or not yes it is available the name of the image is alpine now we want to create the container so but before that we just want to see whether already some container is running or not for checking the container we will ju just going to open one another terminal by pressing alter function f2 key in your case uh, the key might be different so i will log in as a root and password is 123456 i will clear the screen i just want to see whether already some container is running or not for that the command is docker container ls it is showing us that there is no container sometimes ls will not work properly if the your container has has been stopped so sometime we need to use this command minus a mean show us all the containers as can be seen there is no control, uh, container running so i will clear the screen that mean control no, docker container ls command or con docker container ls minus a command is used for viewing the containers so i will clear the screen again i will go back to my first terminal now i am just going to run the command docker container run minus i min interacting minus t attach the sudo tt then we will give our container some name if you are not going to give any name it will randomly generate one name for you but in this case we are specifying the container name as c1 from which image we want to create the alpine and which command we want to run within seconds it has created the container we can run the commands here like checking the address what it is showing it is giving us that this container has been allocated this one and we can create the files hello docker we can save now we want to check i will open the second terminal we want to check with which command now what it is what information now each container will have got some container id with you this is the container id from which image it got created alpine which command you were running as how much time ago it was created 40 second ago and it is up and it is the name of the container is c1 sometime if uh, ls command is not giving you the output which command you can use 
minus a this is the command that you can but uh, sometimes these are the new commands this container ls sometimes in previous versions or earlier we used to run this command for viewing the controller this is older command so you should be always using the you should use the latest commands because this might get depreciated so again it is giving the same output docker ps same output it is going to give and if you have to view the all the container by using an older command then again it is docker ps minus a it is giving you the information that mean this is the information okay so again this is now this is docker container ls command it will show running containers docker container ls minus a it will show all including stop containers and it is not necessary to run this command we can this is the older command that mean you can skip that container context docker run minus it minus minus name c1 that mean instead of running this command what you can do you can use this command but again these are going to be depreciated so always recommended you should use the context also that mean the proper command is docker container run so and these are the all of